Welcome back to The Dead Guy. It is Friday, Good Friday of Easter long weekend, and it's April 15th, 2022. This week it was a very short mail week. Monday through Thursday were the only deliveries. So, this is what I got this week. Still quite a few cards. I'm, I'm impressed that this many came in. Um, and we'll go through those in a second. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, subscribing, and always leaving those comments. Uh, don't forget, if you wanted to leave a comment for That Dad Guy Answers, go back to That Dad Guy Answers Part 10 and leave your comment on that video, and I will answer them tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is the Model Railway Show, so I am hoping to get out to that and film. And uh, there seems to be a lot of people that enjoy those videos, so we'll see what's new and different at this one. So uh, look forward to maybe two videos coming out tomorrow. That's the plan anyway, so if I can get enough time to get everything together, then two will come out tomorrow. Otherwise, uh, it will be delayed by for one of them. But that dad guy answers will definitely come out tomorrow. Okay, so let's get to what arrived this week. The first one comes from England, and it's from Petra. came in this envelope. Let me show you the stamps. Two pretty cool stamps there with a queen and inside she put a uh, best of Dorset attractions and there's the map of where in England Dorset is the region and uh, what you might find and then it's a old touristy thing it gives you all the local attractions a little bit of history about each and uh, also gives you a uh, telephone numbers and things like that in case you need to contact them. So thank you for that. And the postcard she sent was of Buckingham Palace. And she was saying that uh, she didn't really have any uh, Lego or Hedgehog postcards. And when you put things in your bio of things you like, don't feel that you have to have those and anything less than those is uh, is not good enough. That's not the case, at least it's not with me. Uh, I just put them up for guidelines in case people are looking for certain things that they want to want to send. But Buckingham Palace is fantastic. Happy with that. She, at this time, this was April the 7th when this was sent, she was going to Germany, where she's originally from. And uh, so hopefully she had a great trip. I'm sure she's back in England again and uh, into her day-to-day -day life. So thank you, Petra. I will put that aside. The next one comes from Montreal. And so we have this one here from Sophia. And Sophia has a postcard shop. I bought some postcards, so I'm going to do another video on that, showing you what I got from her and to support her. Uh, Sophia is also a big part of the meetup that we're having in Atlantic Canada. So that is on uh, July the 2nd in Moncton, July the 3rd in Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, and July the 4th in Borden, Prince Edward Island. So she has done up the meetup cards for those. And uh, if you're in the area at any one of those locations, uh, feel, free to feel free to stop by and enjoy it. Uh, there's uh, links on the official Post Crossing site showing uh, where they are and uh, probably talking about the times and details as they come available. I know for Moncton, it is at Centennial Park on July the 2nd and it is from one to four. And then in Prince Edward Island at the Tourist Bureau in Borden, just as you cross the bridge, um, it is gonna be there from two to five on uh, July the 4th. So this is the card she sent. She took the picture herself and turned it into a postcard as uh, she's been doing with the meetup cards. And as you'll see with some of the cards that I bought from her, she's used her own images and created it. So this is pretty cool. A Canada Post, you see the, the mailbox there for the official post office in uh, San bernard sur mer in Quebec. And on the back, she used a whole bunch of older Canadian stamps. So not only do you get a beautiful uh, image and postcard, but you get some uh, great stamps to look forward to. So thank you so much for that, Sophia, and we will definitely see you in July. The next one I got is from Helen and PEI. It is an Easter postcard. So with it being an Easter weekend, very appropriate that it arrived this quickly and uh, on time. I think I got one last week too. And that is the stamp that she used. So thank you, Helen from PEI. Happy Easter to you. The next one comes from 
Canada as well, but this time from Alberta. It is a homemade one. This is Nina, and she did a fabulous job. So she's created the Easter egg. She's the flower inside, the Happy Easter. She's got it all cut out here as well. She's done a fantastic job. Nina is very creative. And there's the stamp that she sent. Snowy animals with the uh, postmark from Redwater, Alberta. And that was sent on April the 6th. So it's funny, it took a little longer to get here than some of the other ones. But uh, came from Alberta in the western provinces of Canada. And Nina does a fantastic job. If you haven't uh, haven't followed her, you should go to at Pinkie Pie Hobby Mania and check her out. All right. The next one comes from St. Stephen, New Brunswick. These are all Canadian for right now. And this is from Allie. She sent a blue cat. There you go. Pretty space cat looking at the dragonfly and friendly uh, environment they're saying back. And then these are the stamps she used. So she used some older stamps as well. Uh, she goes on eBay, I think, and uh, she's able to order older stamps, and you can sometimes get them for less than face value, so you can get, say, $10 worth of older stamps and only have to pay $6 for them on eBay. So it's a great way to save on postage if you're in Canada and you're doing that. Now, maybe in other countries, too, you have the same opportunity to buy uh, maybe English stamps at a discounted rate or uh, get them in a hobby shop or someplace to get them at less than face value and they're still valid postage so you can still use them just like uh, older currency if you use it we have a loonie now and we've had it since 1986 which is a one dollar coin but if you still have a one dollar bill you can still spend it just the same and sometimes you get them cheaper <laughs> so there you go there's a, a tip on saving on postage i haven't used it yet but i certainly will try the next one comes from our friend lewis in dubai well He's from Abu Dhabi, but in this case, he's from he's visiting Dubai, and it's a 3D tourist card. So I hadn't seen these before until I got that parcel from Lithuania, and Sky Estia sent uh, me some 3D postcards, tourist cards. So Lewis has done the same, and he's also put the matching 3D sticker that goes with the postcard on it, and there is the stamp. A little hard to see with the postmark under covering it over. But thank you, Lewis, for that. Now, the next five cards I have, and the last five cards, are all from Ross. And as you know, these are all swaps. I didn't get any official post crossing mail again this week. Um, so I think it's been a month now since I've got an official card come through. I had them arrive at their destination. I've been able to rate them. Uh, I think last week I wrote four. I have one right now that I'm able to write. Maybe by Sunday I'll have more. I don't know. But it is strange that none of them are coming back to me. It... Patience, patience, patience. We'll wait and see what happens. All right, so what did Ross send? He is on work in England right now, and so he's got this. I make a good soup. And it's a giant potato. So this is potato peat. And on all the cards that Ross sent, he used this type of stamp. There's the first one from Ross. The next one is of the Concorde. Um, they're now discontinued plane, but in its day it was a, uh, well, it was the fastest plane, I guess, to do commercial travel. My uncle Lionel uh, worked on the Concords. He was in the airline business and he, uh, he lived in New Zealand and he lived in Australia and worked in the Philippines and he did all sorts of things with different airports around the world. But one of the things that he helped work on were the Concorde. So this was at the Air Museum that Ross found that. That's where he got this from, the Imperial War Museum. All right, the next one, he went to Cambridge University. Well, he didn't actually attend it, but uh, he was in Cambridge. And uh, he may have walked around the campus and things like that. He wasn't a student there, per se. But he says he feels smarter just being here. And it shows you all the different campuses. Trinity College, uh, Queen's College, King's College, Kingsbury. There's all sorts there. All the different regions of Cambridge. 
And then Cambridge is a lovely town as well, so there you can see this gentleman is uh, getting the boat going through, almost like a scene you might see in Venice. And uh, Ross wonders how many times this fellow hits his head on the bridge going under. <laughs> And then finally, we have a King's College, Cambridge, postcard. And I can't read what it says, and nor could Ross. Well, maybe Ross could. He's traveled the world, and uh, he has spent some time um, yeah, in Asian countries as well. So maybe he does have a little bit of... I doubt it. I'm sure he can speak a little. But reading, maybe not. Anyways, thank you, Ross. Thank you for all those postcards. Thank you for everybody else uh, that has sent something. It was a little bit quieter of a week for mail, but happy nonetheless that in those four days we were able to get all that uh, through. Now let's look forward to what else comes this week. Whether it's going to be, uh, well, it's going to be another four-day mail week. So Tuesday through Friday is delivery this week coming up. So uh, will be another uh, short week of stuff. But um, on this weekend, we'll get a chance to write some letters. So Sunday, I'm going to catch up on my mail. I don't have as much to write this time, but um, I have gotten a few swaps come in through the week. So I've been able to write those and send them off. Uh, so maybe there'll be some more that will come in. But uh, it might not be a bad idea to give my hand a bit of a, a break from writing. Last week, I did 20 cards on Sunday. So it was a lot <laughs> of cards to send out. Um, I don't think I'm going to have that many to do this Sunday. But uh, maybe 10. We'll see. That's still a good number. The more I send out, uh, the more I hopefully get back. So it keeps uh, more videos going out, which hopefully you appreciate. Uh, I know things seem to be going well with that right now. So looking forward, we have That Dad Guy Answers tomorrow. So make sure you get your questions in today uh, if you want to, uh, to make that video. Uh, the Model Railway Show is tomorrow. So we're going to do up a video for that. So that might be out tomorrow. It might not be out till Sunday. Sunday, I will look at writing cards, so we'll have a one for that. We have the postcards that I bought from Sophia in Montreal, uh, so I'm going to do a video up on that. So there's a lot more things coming in, and uh, for your Easter long weekend, hopefully you will enjoy uh, having videos coming out uh, every day, and I'm going to enjoy doing them. I've got, got the time to do it. One thing I gotta do though is I gotta get my taxes done. Uh, I've been putting it off and uh, I started here and there and I've been distracted with other things, but it is something that I, I do need to work on. So I will have to make room to, to get all that in for the government um, and then just have it out of the way. Hopefully getting something back because uh, I'm gonna have winter tires um, to come off the cars and uh, need to buy some summer tires to replace them with. So I will need some money and uh, hopefully I will get something back from my taxes. Fingers crossed. Anyways, that's it for now. So stay safe. Bye bye. What Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>